What's up guys, Linkage here with a Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this face. Uh, great beginner tutorial, super easy to follow along with, so let's get into it. Start off the front view and let's create a sketch. What we're gonna do here is just create a line. Um, this is gonna be the center point of our vase, so let's create a line. Let's smart to mention it. I think six inches is probably pretty good height for our vase. Select our line tool again, snap to the origin, and let's create a base. Hit escape to drop the tool, and then let's go up and create a fit spline. And next we're just gonna create the contour of our vase. Hit escape, and let's close the sketch off the line tool. Snapped these two points. All right, that's looking pretty good. Next, I'm just gonna go through and just adjust the, the spline and get a contour that I like. So just kind of push and pull some of these points around. Um, bring this guy up, bring this guy in, and just tweak it until you get something you like. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's finish the sketch. Let's go up to create and let's hit revolve. For our profile, we wanna select the sketch that we just created. And for our axis, we're gonna select that center line. And there you go, we've got the beginning of our vase. Still not crazy about the contour uh, and the shape of the vase. So I'm gonna go back in and just edit that sketch really quick. So to do that, I'm gonna go down to my tree here. I'm gonna right click and hit edit sketch. And I'm just gonna tweak these points a little bit, get a shape that I like a little better. All right, I think that looks good. Next, we're gonna create the pattern that is gonna revolve around our face. So let's go ahead and turn our body off. Um, let's turn the sketch back on and let's create a new sketch. What we're going to do here is just we're just going to project this curve onto our new sketch. So select our curve, project it, hit OK. Let's turn off our old sketch. Let's go up to modify and hit offset. Let's offset this curve. Say about negative 0.1, I think is good. And this is going to be the center line for our uh, loft command. Real quick, let's go up to create and hit point and let's add a point uh, somewhere in the middle of that curve. You just eyeball it. That's going to give us something to snap to when we create our circles, which will be our profiles for our loft cut. So let's go up to create sketch on the top view and make sure your 3D sketch is on and your sketch palette. We're gonna go ahead and create three circles. One on the top point, one on the middle point, and then one on the bottom. Let's go up to Smart Dimension and Smart Dimension these. The bottom one, let's do point two. Same for the top. And for the middle, we want it a bit bigger because we want that tapered look. So let's go 0 0.5. Let's go ahead and finish that. Turn our body back on. Let's go up to create. Down to loft. And for our profiles, we're gonna select the three circles that we created. For guide type, make sure you have center line selected. And for our center line, we're gonna select that offset curve. Make sure your operation is set to cut. And let's go ahead and click okay. All right, it's looking pretty good. I think it's a little wide in the middle. So I'm gonna go back through and edit that sketch and just create something a little more subtle. So let's right click, edit sketch, 
Let's modify this, put that down to 0.4. Yeah, that, that's looking a little better. Still a little too big, so let's go back in. Edit sketch. It's at point 0.3. There, that's looking a lot better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pattern this feature around our vase. So let's go up to create, down to pattern, into circular pattern. For your type, make sure it's set to feature. For object, let's select that loft cut. For axis, let's select the Y axis. And quantity, let's set it to, I think 35 is a good number. All right, that's looking pretty good. Hit OK. Might take a minute. All right, and there we have our pattern mirrored around our vase. So let's go in and fill at this edge. I'm gonna hit F really quick, and I'm gonna select an edge of the pattern. Let's hit 0.01. Uh, let's change that to 0.05. I think that's a good size. And there you can see our pattern has a fillet on the edge there. All right, and let's do the same thing with this fillet. Let's go to create down to pattern to circular pattern. For object, let's select the fillet. For axis, Y axis, and we're going to enter the same amount. 35, hit OK. All right, so it looks like we got our fillet in here. So real quick, let's turn on our edges so we can see them. So go to display settings at the bottom, up to visual style. Let's go shaded with visible edges. That way we can see the fillets here and see if they're running into each other. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's go back to our shaded view. Let's hit a front view. Let's turn off our body really quick. Turn on our original sketch. And we're just gonna do a quick revolve cut so we can hollow out our vase. Go up to create. Create sketch on the front plane. Let's go down to project. Let's select our curve and the base. Hit OK. Let's go to Modify. Hit Offset. Select the two sketches that we just projected and let's offset this, say about 0.15. Let's hit OK. What we're gonna do now is just finish off the sketch. All right, let's hit finish sketch, turn our body back on. Let's go up to create, down to revolve. Profile, it's a sketch that we just created for axis. It's at the center line. And for operation, make sure it's set to cut. Let's hit okay. All right, and there you can see we have our vase. That is all hollowed out in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and save that really quick. Control S. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is just fill it some of these edges. Zoom in on the top, let's hit F. Select the two top edges. and see we can create a fillet with this arrow here. If we move it in, move it out, we go ahead and just enter a specific amount. To 0.03, I think that's good. All right, and let's hit add to add a new fillet. Let's go down to the bottom, select our bottom edge, move that in. I'm gonna go ahead and just enter 0.18, I think that's a good size. 
All right, guys, and here is our vase. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.